All right, so let's talk about how to measure the infrasternal angle because I definitely have screwed this up before. I know a lot of other people have as well. So I'm going to come off the sternum. I want to find the xiphoid. That's my vertex point. So I'm going to come off it just slightly when we get into soft tissue. From there, I'm going to come inside and hook this side of the false ribs and then the other side of the false ribs. And that'll give you your presentation of what you see here. Greg would be like a, in, a, in an asymmetry, so narrow on the left, a little bit wider on the right, a normal asymmetry, but still asymmetrical nonetheless. The way people will screw this up is they'll come off here and they'll use this as their sort of their measurement point, and then you think, oh, he's really wide both ways. But if you actually are looking at the true infrasternal angle, we're going to come off the sternum onto the xiphoid. It's pretty po pokey there, pointy. And I come inside, drop right on top of it, and Greg is going to be narrow on the left, and then maybe maybe a little bit narrow, but on the right as well. But narrow all the, no, narrow overall, definitely less than 90 degrees total.